Hi folks, welcome to Easy Finances. I'm Wes and today we're going to be talking about buying the dip. With all the fluctuations that we've had in the stock market recently, the downturns for virus scares and the such, uh, that's exactly what I've done this week is buy the dip. I'm going to explain and uh, we'll talk about that. Just hang around. What exactly does it mean to buy the dip? Well, what it means is when the stock market goes down, when your stocks go down that you own, you go ahead and buy that. You're getting them at a cheaper price, and if you like the company already and we're happy with the company already, then there's no reason you wouldn't want it at a cheaper price. It's almost like if your favorite peanut butter was on sale and you went and bought it. So that's exactly what buying the dip is. So if your peanut butter is regularly $4.99, but uh, this week it's there for $3.99, you might buy two of them this week and, and just hold on to them you know, for a little while. It's the same difference. Buying the dip in the stock market is exactly that. You're buying the companies that you like at a cheaper price. So you've already, you already know you like these companies, so why would you want to pay more money for them? You wouldn't. You'd want to get them at a discount. And that's exactly what I've tried to do this week with a huge influx of money. If we look over here, this influx right here is what, I, what I'm talking about, this line. And you can see it's uh, it's just straight up right there. And that, that's where I put $200 in and I put another, I think, 40 or 60 bucks in there. Next week, I'll be going over a complete portfolio review. Please stay tuned for that. But uh, this little bit right here is what I'm talking about. So the market went down a bit. We put some money in here and then it went down, right? I put a little bit of money in. It stayed pretty flat. It, it rose just a little bit that day. And I said, you know what? Let's just take advantage of it and throw a couple hundred dollars in there. So I threw that at it. And then, of course, the, the regular uh, payments again. It's $40 for the week. And that's what we have here represented. As you can see, we've done pretty good with the exception of high dividend stocks, which they were hammered over this week. Uh, I've, I said in the last video that I always thought that uh, these probably wouldn't fare too well in a downturn and I've been proven to be right. So that's what we're looking at but we've got a pretty good ETF so it looks like for the week it actually is what, what lost money but the high dividend stocks were getting beat up too and as you can see for the over the month that the high dividend stocks got hit pretty good. So at any rate the week the ETFs took a, a slight dip everything else is up and the reason that's up is because when it was down I put money in and then when it raised up it actually raised us out of it which is good and that's exactly what I was hoping to do and we got 13 cents of dividends as well as we're getting more money in here the dividends are starting to roll in and dividends are going to start feeding into the portfolio and making it bigger it's great it buys the stocks that uh, that uh, we want and that's a little bit less pressure off of us to have to buy that money just goes back in and, and this is where we're at. You can see we've surpassed even where I withdrew and thought I was going to quit the this channel altogether. And we've come roaring back and we're doing pretty well. I'm not going to say we're as well as we were. I think we were up at 18% at one point, but we're still doing pretty good and we've managed to turn this week around. If we go for the day, we're up $3.16 for the week, up $0.59, cents. the month $12.10, quarter, year, etc. So you can see that uh, buying the dip can work out quite well for you. Uh, in growth stocks, I'm going to say that Tesla's just been doing gangbusters for us. Um, I'm glad I put, I know it's not a ton of money, guys, that we're talking about, but I've got my money well diversified because you don't always know what the, who, the huge winners are going to be. But in our growth stocks portfolio, you can see we're doing quite well with Tesla leading the way at 113% gain. That's just amazing. So... Can't complain about that. You can see where you can see in this this one where that dip hit really really hard. So obviously we didn't put any infusion in this this week because we had, in the last video, if you want to go back and watch, um, we went ahead and, and took the amount of the portfolio that's in growth and high dividend stocks down a little bit. So we went from where they were all 25% and we put growth stocks and high dividend stocks at 10% and. Part of that was I was trying to stave off uh, what would happen in a downturn. I think the growth stocks and the high dividend stocks are going to take the, the biggest hits. Obviously with ETFs, we're not too worried about it because we have some bonds coverage and we have some real estate stuff, so some other areas that uh, that might do better in a downturn. Although in, in this particular cycle, 
I'm not sure what exactly is gonna <laughs> gonna be good. We might have to put some gold in there or something. The GLD uh, ETF or something just to try to stave off what might happen in the future but you got to think of all things and uh, this week we've bought the dip that's what we do if it's just a small dip like that for the coronavirus i didn't really see that uh it's going to be bigger than the flu per se i mean i think the flu kills what thirty thousand people a year or something we could probably google that somebody will google, somebody will tell me below exactly how many it kills but uh the coronavirus hasn't got to that point yet so i'm not too worried about it if it does in the future then maybe it will be a concern financially but in the meantime it was a good panic for for everybody in the market and people that are maybe a little bit undisciplined and who knows that i may may find out in the future that this thing grows and and i lose money but stick around to find out right it'd be interesting but for the meantime this is what i'm doing anytime that we have another scare like that i'm going to try to buy up what i like and that's all the stocks in my portfolio and it's a good way to uh, stick around and just know that don't panic. Take advantage of situations as they're handed to you. But uh, there's no reason to pull out all your money and lose a, a big amount of money when the market downturn or takes a downturn. And in fact, I would say that in 99.9% .9 of the, the times, it's going to be that way. Sometimes you might want to wait a little bit when, when it's falling so that you're not buying in the middle of the fall for for instance, but timing is also, I wouldn't stop my normal investments, like my $40 a week that I'm putting in here, that's going to continue no matter what, but every once in a while if I see a dip, I'm probably going to put a little infusion of money in there, So, and that's just, symb uh, you know, that's symbolic of the money I've had sitting in emergency savings somewhere, you know, I've got it sitting around, it's gained a little bit of interest, so why don't I take a little bit of that money and invest it, right? There you go, there's an idea, put it in when it dips. Besides your regular investments, go ahead and, and or regular timed investments, go ahead and put that in when it dips. That's what I'm doing, and as you can see, we, we've done well for it. Let's hope it holds up. And, you know, just thinking about all the people that are affected by the coronavirus, I, I, hope, uh, I hope none of you are affected, and I, and I hope we, uh, you know, get past this quickly. I hope it's, it turns out to be nothing too grand, and, and uh, we get over it. So, but we'll see. For now, I'm buying. Thanks. Take care.